All right, guys, welcome to your 19th Ruby lesson. And in this lesson, I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit more about numbers and teach you guys how to format numbers to give you guys the answer that you want. So let's go ahead and recap what we know already. We already know if we input something like 13 divided by 4, then Ruby's going to think that since we're asking it in integers, then we want an integer answer. So even though the answer to this question is 3.25, it's going to say, hey, 3 close enough you asked an integers you want to enter so we say okay now that we want the exact answer let's just go ahead and do 13.0 divided by 4.0 now whenever we ask it like this it gives us the exact answer 3.25 why because we asked with floats or numbers with decimal points but here's the thing as the programmer, we know what's going on behind the scenes and we know that we can kind of tweak Ruby and trick it into giving us the right answer. But say that we built this program such as, you know, a simple calculator or something. Well, the user of that calculator doesn't know that you need to ask it numbers with decimal points. What they're going to do is they're going to, you know, maybe input a variable like 13 for A and four for B and then they're going to go ahead and say okay print out A over B and it's going to say three and they're going to say hey this freaking calculator is broken what's wrong with this well what we need to do whenever we're programming these things like simple calculators or anything what we need to do is change the data type we need to take their integers and we need to change them into floats so how do we do that well in order to do that we need to use a method called 2f and this method pretty much takes an integer and it turns it into a float so let's go ahead and run this baby again so say that we made the same thing like c equals I'll use the same values c equals 13 and b or excuse me d equals 4 well now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and print out the answer on the screen but instead of just writing C over D what we want to do is put C 2 underscore F and whenever we do this here's what's going on it's gonna <clears throat> freaking throw every time I'm doing these tutorials my freaking throat dries out what it's gonna do is it's gonna take C which is 13 and it's gonna call the method 2F now the method 2x takes the value which is 13 and it changes it into a floating point number so it's pretty much going to say okay this 13 is no longer an integer it's now a float so now whenever we try to print it out Ruby knows that we want to work with floats and the cool thing about this is basically the user can still input integers but behind the scenes we're changing it to floats so now with this technology we can build programs that are a lot more user friendly and a lot more precise so let me go ahead and finish up this mini program d2 underscore f I always try to write tofu for some reason so basically even though the user inputted 13 and 4 what's really going on is we converted that to 13.0 and 4.0 and check it out they now get the correct answer of 3.25 even though they asked it in integers so there you go that is how you take one data type and change it to another type of data and by the way this isn't the only method 2f there are different types of um well I guess I might as well explain this whenever you change one data type to another data type in computer programming it's called casting so uh, just remember that and I'm just gonna shut up and go get a drink of water or something and I'll see you guys in the next video so thanks for watching and I'll see you then